নামার কিন সেম জিঙ্গে কি পাইবা খামতাম কি জিংবম ডন কি কম রয় হা কিস নং কি বহা ভা ব্লক ওয়ান হারি লোম চাইন্তিয়া ইয়াকবা লাখাইন কুম কে জাকা বন কে জিং কানাত খাপুত উবা নু জোর কি সুঙ নং থা ইউ ডিপি নাক মোকয়াও উলাক্রেন ইয়া কে কমান হা কী বলাই কা দরবার মংটিং কা জোক ইং দরবার থাই কা জেলা মেঘলা হা কফরা তারিখ লুবের আর হাজার আর হার ডাক বাকুদ অমদে এ তং কে জিংবম ডন কে রয় কপার রে কে চিংসা খেয়ত বেন বাদ জিংসা লে দন বোয়ার হাকা আসাম উনি নথ আয়ুল অং বাকা দে চিংসা ই বেন কিপাইবা হা কে কথাই বাদ কে জিংবম ইয় এ কি হক লং ব্রিউ মানব্রিউ কুম্ব ইয় কিউ পাত নু কিসুর কি সাকা আয়ং সুমার বাদ কিউ পাত মিস্টার স্পিকার স্যার ব্লক ওয়ান হিস্টোরিকালি ওয়াজ ভেরি মাচ পার্ট এন্ড পার্সেল অফ দ্য এসওয়াই জেনটি পোর কিংডম before the entire kingdom was annexed by the east india company of the british in 1835 and after 1947 sir it was well within the boundaries of jainti hill district and falls under jawai subdivision for administrative purpose as it had always been a part of the re khadadaloi which when translated means the land of the 12 chieftains a nomenclature that is attributed to the traditional practice of administration among the jaintia populace and whose practice is still relevant today and constitutionally provide for by the constitution under the sixth schedule mr speaker sir it was in the year 1951 the then government of assam <laughs> created the Mikir Hill district, presently known as the Karbiang Long district, by slicing off the Labang Nang Kulut and Pangam Reliang out of Jainti Hills under the political consideration of administrative convenience, while neglecting all other relevant consideration which the people then vehemently opposed and understood it to be an imposition. <coughs> Mr. Speaker, sir, The people who reside in this area are Panas, better known as Jaintias, and have the same language, custom, tradition, inheritance law, and other practices as the Jaintia people of Meghalaya. Even the prefix of the name of villages, rivers, stream, hills, and forests are of common use by the Khasi Panar across the length and breadth of the entire Khasi and Jaintia Hills district. For example, sir, the same words, mo, den, um, nong, plank, a, three extra. Mr. Speaker, sir, as per the information or the reports available with me, the Mikils or the Karbis, they were not the original inhabitants of this area, but were settlers only after the annexation of this area by the East India Company in 1935. Being tribal, sir, the Daloi ship of Nong Pelot, Nong Jingi, Shiliamontang, Raliang, permitted them to stay only after an understanding was arrived at. However, sir, they coexist in peace and harmony and there were even inter-tribe marriages. Villages such as Um Kermi, Tapat, Ronghelen, Samatan came into existence much after the annexation. And Rong Pangbon village came into existence only after the creation of the Mikir Hills district. Sir. The Mikirs or the Karbis have a language of their own and a patrilineal lineage which is different from the Panar or Jaintias. So the people of Block 1, they vehemently oppose the imposition, white government notification of Assam number TAD slash R slash 31 slash 50 slash 149 dated 13 April 1951 for inclusion of this area under the newly created Mikir Hills district. And the same was even brought to the notice of the authorities of the SY United Khasi and Jainti Hill District and to the central government as well. 
So the effort to reunite the Jantia Hills led to the Assam government letter number TAD slash REB slash 9955 dated 21st November 1955 which directed the CEM of Mikir Hills District Council to stop the survey of this area till the boundary of the Mikir Hills District is settled. And so in the year 1957, the Assam government by its letter TAD slash GA 83 slash 50 dated 5th November 1957 <coughs> directed the two district council Mikir and United Khasi Janti Hills District to hold a joint inquiry of the board of the boundary. And the same was conducted sir, on the 17th to the 19th of February and also on the 23rd of February 1958. And the survey was completed, sir. But however, the recommendation for the transfer of this area to Janti Hills was never executed till date. In the year 1970, sir, well before the creation of Meghalaya, the Mikir Hills District Council, along with the active cooperation of the Assam State Police, erected cemented pil boundary pillars arbitrarily without the knowledge of the Jantia leaders, and also two police outposts were set up, one at Mukoiram and one at Umpawang village. This police outpost served only the one purpose of harassing the inha inhabitants of this disputed area. Sir. Mr. Speaker, sir, I would like to remind this August House that in the recent past, an initiative, initiative for, by late E.K. Maulong and Sri P.K. Mahanta, the Chief Minister of both of Meghalaya and Assam, respectively, had come to an agreement on the 22nd December 2000 on the Meghalaya government request to transfer the villages adjoining to Meghalaya border in area of Block 1 and Block 2, where the Khasi Pnar are in majority from Assam to Meghalaya. So. They agreed that a joint, joint verification by the Deputy Commissioner of the Karbi Anglong and the Jainty Hills be conducted in order to correctly identify these villages and complete it at an early date. Both the Chief Minister also agreed that as a constitu constitutional requirement, the opinion of both the Autonomous District Council concerned should be obtained. The Chief Minister also reiterated that the other outstanding issue involving both the state would also be sorted out in a true spirit of friendship and mutual respect. Mr. Speaker, sir, it has been 71 years now, 71 years of pain while keeping the struggle and hope alive. As reflected in the newspaper, sir, till now and forever, our people who reside in Block 1, they still yearn for the day when they will be united with Meghalaya once again. So it is with a very heart that I stand to share with this August House the neglect and apathy towards our very own kinsmen by successive government at the center, Assam, and to, extent, and to some extent, even Meghalaya. Hello, can you meet on Bakajala, Kondaki Soma, Bajubab, Ulongasorkar Zilla, Kadangatong, Kabakmat Air, Bunwingi, Jerusalem, Kijakai, Kanat Kapun? The kind of uh, problems that the people at the border area are facing because of the border differences or the border dispute that has been there for a very long time uh, in Block One area and other parts of the state. The second part of his discussion was uh, related to the impact on the development aspects because of the different uh, issues in the border uh, area 
in, uh, in these areas mentioned in block one. And uh, how, because of the law and order situation, uh, different uh, development aspects have been affected. Sir, uh, I would like to start by saying that yes, there has been a lot of challenge in block one area. And um, in the past, the people of this area have suffered uh, a lot. And uh, many development aspects, because of the areas of differences and uh, uh, interventions, I should say, from different state governments and different administrations uh, in that area, sometimes from the Meghalaya administration, sometimes from the Assam administration, the people in and around the Block 1 area on both sides have been facing a large number of problems. But while these issues of uh, border dispute as well as uh, the, law, the law and order situation have prevailed, uh, there have been some areas where uh, development aspect also has come in. Regarding law and order issues, both sides will undertake close coordination to maintain peace and tranquility in and around the border areas. And number D, any development work shall be informed beforehand by both the counterparts. With regards to developmental works of Meghalaya, which are being obstructed by government of Assam officials, the Chief Secretary of Meghalaya has written to her counterpart in Assam to intervene and issue necessary instructions not to hinder in the development works that are meant for the benefit of the residents of the disputed areas along the interstate border. Uh, it was also agreed by both the state governments that central government schemes should be allowed to be implemented for the benefit of the people of the interstate border areas. Insofar as safety of the people living in the border uh, areas bordering Assam under Jinti Hills is concerned, the following steps are being taken. Number one, the concerned Deputy Commissioner has been taking up matters with his counterpart in Assam by protesting various develop, uh, developmental construction activities taken up by the Assam government in the disputed areas. In order to instill confidence in the minds of the villagers living along the interstate border with Assam, Meghalaya Police has intensified mobile and foot patrolling, especially in the areas of dispute. Magistrates and police are promptly taking action on all incidents having a bearing on law and order in this area. The District of District Police of West Jente Hills have been closely monitoring the developments in the border areas and are in constant contact with the counterparts, uh, with their counterparts in Assam. What I'm trying to say is that uh, we are in a position at this point in time to be able to respond to that in a very, very quick manner and to ensure that we minimize these kind of unforeseen situations. So, Deputy Speaker, sir, I I'm sure that this subject is such that we can keep uh, uh, going on and uh, because, as I said, it's a very important subject, it's a very emotional subject, and as mentioned by the Honourable Member, people have suffered in that area for a very long time. But uh, let me assure you, whether it's a development aspect or whether it is the aspect of uh, the uh, border issue, this government is very much aware and we are very much committed to take things forward and find a solution both to development issues as well as the border issue that is there in those areas.